Good morning, my name is Mary Ryan and I'm volunteer at Washington Crossing Historic Park here on the Delaware River. Today we're going to talk about 18th century women's wear, particularly women's wear that um, women would typically wear in North America. Let's start with my cap. I wouldn't go anywhere out of the house without a cap. Not only is it a form of modesty, but it also keeps my hair clean and free of lice. The next item of clothing is this shift or chemise. This is the hardest working piece of clothing in my wardrobe. I almost never take it off except to wash it. I sleep in it, I work in it, it's um, always on my body. Next is my corset or what we call stays. It has whale bones to make it stiff and hold me in. Um, both uh, girls and boys start wearing shifts when they're toddlers. Um, for posture, but when boys reach the age where they can button their breeches, they stop wearing stays. Women wear stays their entire life. I have these beautiful leather shoes. Interesting fact that in the 18th century, they just began making left and right shoes. Up until then, you just wore them in to fit your feet. I have socks, which are knit with very, very fine knitting needles. There's basically three types of fiber cotton, wool, and linen. Silk is also available if imported, but it's very expensive. The next thing I have to put on is my petticoat. At least one, if not more. This also is a form of modesty, but also keeps me warm. And I have slits in it so I can reach in to my pocket. Lots of fabric and it also gives me that beautiful full figured silhouette that everybody is looking for in the 18th century. The bigger the rounder the better. Next I have a pocket. Lots of things going on around the waist um, but we didn't sew pockets into our clothes we actually tied them around our waist access all sorts of little tools like spoons and scissors and things that I'll need to do my housework during the day. So next comes my kerchief. This is a, also a form of modesty but also keeps the sun off of my back and shoulders. Um, if I wanted to get fancy I might use what's called a fichu which would be a lace version of this. But for everyday wear, I have a nice little cotton kerchief here. This is my dress. It's made of linen. Again, lots and lots and lots of layers. So, I actually pinned this closed. Buttons were saved for the men. Women used pins. church bells. <laughs> then my next uh, item of clothing is the apron. The apron is also a very hard working piece of clothing. You can use it as a hot pad. You can use it as a basket for gathering fruits and vegetables. Just kind of gather it up like this. Put all sorts of stuff in there. Um, accessories. Very popular during the 18th century are memorial necklaces. Um, this one happens to be Queen Mary. Um, also lockets that have pieces of hair um, from a loved one inside. Um, next, I have my hat, and of course I wear my hat over my cap, um, and that also keeps the sun away from my face while I work. If it's cool out, I can wear a cape. Um, this happens to be wool. Today is a beautiful day, so I don't really need my cape. And if it's very cold, I can use my mittens, which are also wool, but these are knit. 
So that's just a little quick taste of 18th century women's wear. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a little bit. Um, stay safe.